Hey, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> it's Reggie Pegues, the Prospering Dad. And it's Wednesday. And I'm so glad to be joining you guys today. We're not going to do a lot with the intros today because I have so much that I want to share with you. Continuing on the theme that we started on Monday. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, we're now over here on Facebook Live. So indulge me as I acknowledge people in real time as they come on here on Facebook Live. Um, as you come in, please type in the comments. Let me know where you're viewing from. Type hashtag live or hashtag replay. Good morning, Danielle, my 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 daughter. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good morning, Stacy. Good to see you. Good morning, Anna. Good to see you. We're going to dive right in today. We're going to dive right in today because I have a lot of that I want to share with you guys and I want to try to get it in within the next 13 minutes, okay? Um, as you can see, Okay, we're still talking about The Miracle Morning. If you followed me on Monday, we talked about this book. It's a fabulous book. I'm going to drop the link in the comments so you can begin to enjoy this book and enjoy the information that's in this book. Uh, when you uh, go to the link, all you have to do is just enter into uh, enter your email, your best email and your information, and you will get two free chapters from the book. You will get videos, you'll get audios, and you will get access to the community. And uh, it's just completely amazing. Now, the thing about this book is this. It's not really anything anything relatively new. If you're, if you're used to um, personal development and you just study certain things. But it does bring it all into... Uh, a collective into one place where you can get uh, a, a, a clearer, quick dose of what it is that you need to do to implement into your life. So today, today's discussion, we're going to talk about invest in your intention. Learn why you're stuck. Invest in your intentions. Learn why you're stuck. Now, I borrowed the, the first part of, of this title from my uh, wealth coach, Myron Golden. Last night, you know, Tuesday nights, um, we have a call that we do, on that he does on Tuesday nights, and uh, we get on that. Good morning, Bertha Mitchell. I think you're a first-time viewer. Thank you. Jump, drop uh, in the comments. Let me know where you're viewing from, and hashtag live or hashtag replay. Um, so... He does a call every Tuesday, every Tuesday night, most Tuesday nights, if he's not traveling or doing something abroad. And the thing that's so cool is the fact that, you know, like I said, we have to connect with certain people. If you want to see change in your life, you have to change. You have to change your environment. You have to change the people that you are connected to. You might have to change your habits, but it's about investing in your intention. So he was talking about this last night and with it, it just, I love when the creator brings them together because what I was reading in the Miracle Morning, okay, um, and I want you to know, I get nothing from this book. I get no monetary, uh, fiduciary, anything from this book. I just am advocating this book because I know for myself and I know for the people that I've shared this book with what it's doing and just uh, when you go into the community and you see the results that people are using. This is not just a book. It's a movement. Okay. It's a movement, something that is going to help you. So we're going to dive in um, again. So he was talking about investing in your intention. Now you have to have intention. What do you mean? Reg, what do you mean? Intention. You have to do things with purpose. You have to live with purpose. Your life has to have intention. For example, if you want to lose weight, your intention has to be that you're going to change your lifestyle to do something to have that result. If you want to have a better life, your intention has to be that you're going to change who you are. And you're going to become that person that you need to be to have the type of life that you want to have. So the question I have to ask you this morning is, do you really mean what you say? Because what you say is part of your intention. What you think is part of your intention. A lot of people say, like, for example, when I started, wanted, when I really wanted to start a business and I really wanted to lose, leave my job, my intention was to leave my job. So I had to do things 
to change the way that I thought, change the way that I spoke, change the way that I acted to make that happen. And I focused on my goal, which was to leave my job. And that helped me to develop my intention. My intention was to leave my job so I could spend more time with my daughter. Now, there's a whole backstory to that, but that was my intention. So, do you really mean what you say? A lot of people say stuff, you know, but we, we, we point out that action speaks louder than words. So, what's your intention? Where a lot of people get confused and frustrated is that what they say does not correlate with what they do. It doesn't line up. So, it causes frustration. It causes a disconnect within the individual where you're unable to produce the results that you see in your own head. There's a saying that goes, how you do anything is how you do everything. That goes and speaks to your intention. How do you do anything? How do you go about your day? How do you go about, good morning, Diamond, good to see you. Type in the comments, Diamond, let me know. I know I think you're from Oklahoma. Type in the comments, let me know where you're viewing from. So how you do anything is how, how you do anything is how you do everything. I'm looking at my notes because I wrote a lot of notes for you guys this morning. Um, so how do you do a thing? Okay, I'm an entrepreneur. I work with individuals. There's a few individuals on here that, that I work with, that I partner with, that I mentor, that I coach. But one of the things that they'll tell you is I, I, I advocate the fact about well, how, how, you know, how do you do a thing? How are you doing this? What is it that you think about? How do you, how do you, when you have a, a, a challenge, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? So how you do anything is how you do everything. What does it say about you? What does it say about you? Okay. When you, what is your attention? Again, for example, I want to be in good health for a lot of reasons. I want to be around for my daughter. It, it, it's beneficial to me. It helps me think. It, it, it gives me more energy to do the things that I want to do. So what's my intention? My intention is that once I finish this live, that I'm going to go work out. Now, our mind, as fabulous as it is, it's created to protect us, to, to defend us from what it perceives to be harm. So... My mind is saying, well, listen, you don't want to work out. But my intention is, if I want to achieve the goal that I have in terms of my health, my intention is after I get off this live that I'm going to work out. So, but if I don't do that, if I, if I, if I, if I make a commitment and I don't hold it, if I say that I'm going to do something and I don't honor my word, then that corrodes my intention that 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 says something about me that says that I, I i don't i don't honor my word that i don't complete what it is that i say i'm going to do if this makes sense type makes sense in the comment good morning robbie good to see you so what does it say about you what is it that when you do or don't do a thing what is that saying about you ask yourself what does that say about me Simple things like not making your bed. What does that say about you? Not getting to work on time. What does that say about you? Having a, 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 a not so pleasant disposition. What does that say about you? Your self-image. When you don't believe that, that you're worthy, what does that say about you? So what are your intentions? Action, as I said, action speaks louder than words, then we have to accept the fact that, and I'm going to go back real quick because if you did, if you're with me Monday, I'm going to give you guys some stats that I shared on Monday. And I want you guys to realize something. Again, 100 people, right? 100 people at the age, starting at the age of 25, if you follow them to the age of 40 or until retirement, 100 people, one will be wealthy. Four will be financially secure. Five will be working past retirement. 36 will be dead from poor health. And 54 
will be living broke and dependent on others. So we're talking about intention, right? So Sunday, that Sunday mindset, when you keep pushing it off, and if you watch my videos from last week, you can go to my YouTube channel, Reggie B. Pegues on YouTube. Go to my videos, and you can catch the video I did last week about some, we, I did a video about Sunday, that Sunday mindset. And when we have that Sunday mindset, we keep pushing things off someday, someday. I'm going to work out someday. I'm going to mend that relationship someday. I'm going to go back to school someday. I'm going to change my job someday. When you keep having that someday mindset and you keep pushing things away and keep pushing things off, it never happens. And again, that speaks to your intention. Your intention, you're saying that, hey, listen, someday I'm going to do this thing, but your actions are saying that you're never going to do it because you keep pushing it away. You keep not picking it up. One of the biggest things that I've had to learn in my business is this. I had to learn and get over the fact of putting off the hard stuff. Putting off the hard stuff. We don't want to do the hard stuff. And the hardest thing, and I want to teach you something right here now. I want to teach you something that I've learned from my wealth coaches, and I might go a little bit over 15 minutes, so guys, I want you to indulge me. Um, I've learned about wealth. I always thought, coming from where I came from and, and what I was exposed to, that wealth was about money, that success was the result of, you know, success was the result of money, when in actuality, money is the result of success. I want to share a, co a quote with you guys, because I learned this in understanding this in understanding this and understanding what I'm learning from my coaches and, and mentors, and we all need coaches and all need mentors, I learned a valuable lesson, which is I always focused and thought it was about the money, and it's not. If you want to see better results in your life, it's about personal development. It's about you improving you. It's about you getting better each and every day. So I want to share this quote with you really quick. And you're going to have to go back. You're going to be really going to want to write this down. Good morning, Miss Lambert. I don't have my glasses on. I think it's Shireen. Good morning. I think you're a first time viewer. Thank you for joining. Um, and I want to share this quote with you because, like I said, I thought it was about the money. It's not about the money. Like I said, success is not... Success is not the result of money. Money is the result of success. You have to be famous. I'm not famous, but you have to be successful before you get the money. Okay? So, the quote goes like this. When we fail to make time for personal development, we are forced to make time for pain and struggle. I'm going to say that again. When we fail to make time for personal development, we are forced to make time for pain and struggle. What does that mean? It's not about the external things. It's not about the outward directive things. It's about you. It's about how are you getting better each and every day. When I was building my businesses and I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to see in my businesses, I wasn't seeing the outcomes that I wanted to see, I quickly realized by studying other leaders, other successful people, is that the money was the end result. The whole purpose was to get better each and every day. Personal development. What are you reading? What are you listening to? How are you spending your time? Who are you having conversations with? Who are you associated with? Who are you following? How are you getting better each and every day? There's another old saying that if you hang around nine broke people, you're guaranteed to be the first. You're, you're guaranteed to be the tenth. So you're going to have to change. If you really want to have the life that you want to have, you're going to have to change your circle of influence. You're going to have to see things differently. If you're not accustomed to picking up a book, you're going to have to get into that habit. And the great thing about things now where we are, if you're, you know, trust me, I wasn't, I loved learning. I hated reading. But then I realized and I learned that successful people read at least an average of 60 books a year. There's, a, there's an adage that goes, if you want to hide something from people, put it in a book because they won't pick it up. They won't read it. So it's never too late to start. 
It's never too late to start. You can, you can start right now. You want to be in the moment. Start in the moment right now. And as I said, I'm going to leave the link to this book in the comments. And you'll be able to get the first two chapters plus audio plus videos. And you'll get access to the Miracle Morning community, which I've just started the other day. And it's amazing. The stories that you hear. And these are people that you want. You, I want you to realize that you're not in this by yourself. You can change your direction. Right now, today, it's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. If you don't, here's another quote I want you guys to catch, and you're going to have to go back to the replay, and I want you to write this down. If you don't build your dream, someone else will hire you to help them build theirs. So we talked about the 100. We talked about the 95% of people who will never live the life that they want to live. You know what your objective is? You want to know how you, you can help that? Don't become one of them. Don't become one of them. Do everything that you can to become better and better each and every day. Personal development. Spend the time on you. You spend the time on somebody else's job. Good morning, Artie. You have to catch the replay. Um, you spend your time, you know, on a job. And you're exchanging your valuable time for a paycheck. Now, this doesn't mean that you don't need an income. I get that. I understand that. We all need an income. But if you're not living your life to the fullest, if you're not waking up every day excited about the day, if you're not living each day and, you know, ready to, 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 to hit the ground and, and want to do things, if, if you're not experiencing, you know, a 10x life, meaning that 10, you know, everybody wants... Each and every person that's under the sound of my voice, and again, type in the comments, let me know where you're viewing from, type hashtag live or hashtag replay. Um, everybody that's on here now and everybody who watched the replay, we all want the best life, but we don't want to pay the price to do it. So invest in your intention. Understand, what is your intention when it comes to your life? What is your intention about accomplishing your goals? What is your intention about living your best life now? Do you really mean what you say? When you say something, are you honoring your word? How you do anything is how you do everything. And when you don't honor your word, what does that say about you? It's never too late to start. You can start today. Now matters. If you don't build your dream, someone else will hire you to help them build theirs. And when we fail to make time for personal development, we are forced to make time for pain and struggle. And nobody wants to struggle. Guys, I know I went a little bit over. It was a lot of content to try to get into 15 minutes. I appreciate you guys for hanging in here with me. I am going to put the link to the Miracle Morning in the comments. I suggest that you come back, watch this video again, go to the comments, submit your email, you get two free chapters of this book. You get free videos. You get access to the community. You get audios. And this could be the thing that you've been looking for to change, to turn your life around. As always, you can go to my, to my channel on YouTube, Reggie B. Pegues, and watch this video again or watch any video that I have there. Make sure that if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button so as I upload new content, you will be the first to know. Hit the notification button here because we're going to continue this discussion about the Miracle Morning. Hit the notification button here so you know when I come on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern, do me a favor. Help me make this go viral. Like and share this video today on your wall because somebody that you know needs this word. You're worthy. You're worthy of the life that you want to lead. You're worthy to, 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 have, to write the narrative that you want to have. And you're worthy to be, do, and have. All right? So it's Wednesday. I want you guys to have a great day. I got to run. I'll talk to you again on Friday.